R. So I think I would be bothered by a white person saying that word. F A G. And, F-A-G. and um, if you want to see like the way I feel kind of put into words. This game is coming um, out in the App Store. Who was it? Somebody, somebody was on Bill Maher Friday night. Ladies and gentlemen, and he oh, this is Duke. Ice Cube. Ice Cube. He explained it very well. Our word, you can't yes. have it back. <laughs> right. Well, that's how I feel about it. I mean, I don't like it when I hear people use the N word, you know, but if it's relating to their culture, it's their culture, it's none of my damn business. That's but, true. But reading off of literature is um, totally different. Different. Okay. Um, Just like, yeah. oh my god, I didn't put down anything for the craft beer show. I didn't either. I've been I've been concentrating on literature. I didn't even concentrate on the the political, you know, gay rights type things. I've just been doing literature. Okay, you're live. Okay. We're live. We're live. We're live. We're live. Oh, my mic was muted all the time I was talking. Oh, Jail. I heard you. My yeah, microphone's. Oh, uh, uh, that explains. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, uh, we could we could do the beer show. Um, in the week. Well, I've already got the beer, um, and it's, um, why? Because you haven't, I mean, you, you just because we haven't researched any articles? We, well, not just any articles. I mean, I, I literally didn't even think of anything for the beer show. <laughs> oh, I didn't either. Yeah, we could just yeah. talk about beers. It could be a short one. That's, well, that's actually good because, um, Tay, is scheduled to come on at 2.45, and oh. so I would rather have our beer stuff out of the way before then, so that yeah. we can concentrate on him. Does that make sense? I know, I just need his last. Speak it out to the <laughs> Way, yeah, I did the, the three. Did you post the three way review? Are you talking to me? No, sorry. I, I was, oh, that's okay. From last night. No, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Drive. Public. I'm trying to I'm trying to open the the notes. Okay. Uh, oh, I should probably open Twitch, huh? Yeah, I've got it up. So far, I think it's just me and Che. I'm hosting today. I thought I was. The beer. 32. Oh, I 32 is me, and then 33, which is the political show, is you. Okay. I was like, wait, I'm confused now. I'm confused again. You don't have to restart it to do that, do you? Well, I guess I should fix my sound, too. Because... Uh, 
I'll I restart the stream. Okay, there we go. Uh, you do mine. Down. I sent Tay the Twitch link so that he can look like if he wants while he's doing his rounds. I don't know if he can. Oh, uh, okay. Ready? Sure. You ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Beery Good Entertainment. I am Sorcerer Zero, and with me today is my wonderful friend, Lola. Hi, Lola. How you doing? I am doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. This is episode 32. This is section episode 32. Episode. Epic, 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 episode. Haven't, haven't even opened my beer yet. <laughs> Me neither. This I've is our beer show. Yeah. We're drinking beer, having yeah. fun on a Sunday. <clears throat> I I actually have two beers today. Okay. Cool. But but since I'm hosting, obviously, I want to know what you have. I have something that I accidentally bought twice. So you I accidentally, haven't... accidentally bought twice on purpose? No, it was actually <laughs> accident. Um, it was actually accident. The funny thing is, I didn't realize I bought it twice until like I was talking to these people at the bar. This was at Beer 30, and I, I had like a hundred dollars worth of beer stacked on the counter, which is the norm for me when I go there. They know, yeah. <laughs> and. Um, so I was talking to the people sitting at the counter, and one of them pick, picked up a beer out of my box and said, oh, you got this twice. You must really like it. And I went, because I hadn't had it before. Yeah. I was like, so I don't know how I got it twice. I think I must have, like, meant to pick something else up and got it by mistake. Oh, Tay is calling us. Oh, she's calling me. Let me let her know. Let him know. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <sighs> Fucking hell. Excuse me. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna let her know. Let me see if he's ready. Her or him? We should him. him. And I, I explained to Che that um I I met him several years ago. Um he had a party at his house. Yeah. And and at that point, he was a she. Yeah. And so even though I know that he is either transitioning or has transitioned, every once in a while the wrong pronoun creeps out just because I get confused. It happens. Mm -hmm. I know. I don't mean any bad, you know, maliciousness by it. I just, I get confused very easily. And let me see. Okay. <laughs> she, he's laughing at me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm telling him I'm glad you have a good sense of humor. <laughs> All right, let me I'm gonna open my beer um and look to see what he wants, if he's ready or not. Um but what I've got today for beer is terrapin. Can you see it? Terrapin, chubby chubby bonnie. I'd never even heard of this, but I saw it on the shelf, and I was like, well, it's terrapin. I know I love terrapin, and I have to have terrapin. And it's an Imperial S'mores Milk Stout. Okay, now I'm interested. I am I'm interested in milk stouts and Imperials make and it really, s'more. really good. Yeah. I hope I like it because I bought it twice. Now I'm wondering what I meant to grab. It's bugging me. Obviously, I meant to grab a second beer and got this by mistake. So I'm like wondering, what is that mystery beer still on the shelf that had my name on it? Uh, I'll probably never know. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to open this. Let me see what Tay said. Um, yeah. Oh, Tay, do you like beer? Oh, Tay loves beer. 
Okay, we always talk about beer. I'm typing it out, and I know he can hear me. <laughs> he said he loves stouts. Ah. Uh. Lagers, lager stouts, and ciders. Man after my own heart. Yeah. Hey, have you ever been to Beer 30? There's one in Riverside and one in San Marco. All right, let me open this up. I'm not a good multitasker, by the way. And I'm, I'm showing the evidence no, right I now. Say, I don't think humans were really meant to right. multitask, so it's okay. I truly believe we weren't. There's a mythos in the work environment that, you know, we're supposed to be able to do 20 things at the same time well, but we can't. We can't even do one thing well sometimes. All right, he does not like IPA. He says it tastes like Nair. Now, I myself have never eaten Nair. So. I, um, well, I, I've come pretty close. I've come pretty close. I, I did use it on my face one time. The little bits off? Because I yes. have little bits. Yes. Did it work? No. Mm. I've always. It. I, I've never had good. It, the smell of it was really bad. I've also heard that sometimes if you do that. The light is shining on your glass as if, like, you know, it's been blessed. It has been blessed by Terrapin in Athens, Georgia, and Terrapin is one of my favorites. Terrapin, Southern Tear, and Funky Buddha are the trifecta. Those are the holy instruments of beer to me. Holy instruments of beer. Yes, they are. In fact, we need to put that in the show notes. That is a real thing. That looks lovely, doesn't it? It does. Very what dark. A nice head on that. What a nice head on that uh, on top. And it's not dissipating. It's really, like, firm. I'm yeah. trying not to laugh here, but it's about a third of an inch, I would say. And it's lacing pretty well. But I like that it's not dissipating. To me, that means it's firm. And it knows it knows what it is. It knows, it knows what it wants to be. It wants to be a good beer. And this is good. This is really good. It's got it's it's very dense. You know, I love dense beers. Yeah. It's not watery. It's very dense. It makes it feel like it was worth the money, which it wasn't hardly expensive. It was ten bucks for a bomber. It's not so, bad. So so when you say dense, is this like you could use this like stick a spoon in it? Just about. Wow. Like okay. If you took say a caramel stick okay, hold on. I am going to caramel stick. Hold on. Now, now I'm drooling. Caramel my stick. Beer doesn't, my beer doesn't measure up to yours. <laughs> oh. And it's sticking. It's sticking to the caramel. Is it good with caramel? It is good with caramel. Oh. Okay, doing it again. That's just... <laughs> <laughs> That's just braggadocio now. <laughs> I, know, I know, I know. I'm trying so hard to be good. <laughs> Look at what I'm I have. Try, I'm trying not to be obnoxious. I'm trying so hard. It's just hard. Um. So, it's an imperial milk stout. Is so. Is it? Is it chocolatey? Is it like a chocolate bunny kind of thing? Like an. Let me get the caramel out of my mouth. Hold on. Or is it, like, do you taste the marshmallow? I know what I taste. Graham cracker. <gasps> yeah. That's what I taste oh, right, right on my tongue. Yes, that's like the ending flavor is graham cracker. It's really graham cracker. That's what it tastes like. I love it. Well, it's lucky you got to. Maybe it was Providence that the second one wound up in the box. You know what? This little bunny said, you're going to love me. It said, you're going to love me. It doesn't like you, Linda. I'm sorry, but you cook his kind. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. He said, do we have to do the show with Linda? She cooked my second cousin. And I said, you know what? He was an asshole, bunny. You okay. didn't like your second cousin. It's okay. 
And I he was like, the, I don't eat the chubby ones. I eat the skinny ones. Oh, all right. He's like, yeah, I hated my second cousin. He was a skinny bastard. <laughs> He said, I'm glorious. And Linda can't cook me because I'm on the other side of the country. So there, Linda, you can't have me. I'm on this beer now. And this beer is fabulous. I'm going to go me. to Corvallis Brewing Supply and beg them to find you that. You can't have me. Chubba I get knocked down, but I get up again. I don't want us to be, you know, taken down by whatever music publishes. So. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so this is really good. It's dense. It, it has the sweet graham cracker taste, and it's, it's definitely worth the money. Only 10 bucks, but I'm glad I got two. And Tay gave us an emoji, the laugh cry emoji. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad. I get knocked down, but I, I get have, up I have a bit of a mystery. Okay. I don't know what this is. Because, uh -huh. um, because the lovely person over at uh, Beer Thirty. Uh oh. Not the same Beer Thirty, but different yeah. Beer Thirty. But it's awesome. 30. It's awesome that we go to the same I, name. I, <laughs> uh, did not tell me what this is. Ooh. But they wrote it down on a little piece of paper. Mm -hmm. I have to guess. I have to guess okay. That. I like a game. Um. Now I. There. Well, there are a whole lot of IPAs. But I, but knowing the IPAs that they have, really hope I don't spill this. No party fouls. Super oh, clear, yeah. super clear, big, thick, white head. I know, I know the IPAs that are um, a lot less clear than this. I uh, say, I'm gonna guess. Now, did he say it was an IPA, or could it be anything? It could be anything. It right, could be I'm, anything. But I mean, I know, I know most of the beers that I've had over there, so I know there are a few IPAs it could not be. Okay. But they uh, have, they have. So, so you, you guess first. I say, hold on a second. Mm -hmm. I say some kind of fruit IPA, like like honeysuckle IPA or something. They do have a strawberry wheat on. Ooh. And I'll know immediately if it's a strawberry wheat. It's got a nice, it's got a nice head on. It's yeah. retaining its head, and it's got some pretty nice lacing. Yeah. It's not the strawberry. Okay. It smells really grainy. Okay. So we're definitely thinking IPA, you think? I'm thinking maybe a... Pilsner or Lager. Oh, okay. Tay would like that. Definitely a Lager. Tay said could be a Pilsner, but definitely a Lager. Definitely a Lager. It's really soft and not a whole lot of hot presence. Okay. But let's see. Man, they have porters and all kinds of stuff. I'm looking at the list. But you don't know the brand, right? So that's the part of the mystery. Well, I, I will know. I will know the brand. I don't think it's 10 barrels out of office. Okay. Uh, that's a hoppy pills. Okay. It could be Crux pills, which is a German-style pilsner. Maybe. Especially if you don't have any other aromas, like fruit or something aromas. Or it could be Ten Barrels Pub Beer, which is a plain lager. Uh, I would hope if it's a mystery, they would give you something fancy, you know? I don't um, know. Well, well the, I mean, we do need to remember that um, there is a promo for Ten Barrel over oh, at Fair it's, it's, so. it's Ten Barrel. Okay. Oh, it's Ten Barrel. <laughs> and you got it free? They gave it to you? Um, I'm not allowed to say. Okay. I'm thinking Tim Barrel. As if they have a promo, then. So. Crux Pills. Oh, was I not supposed to say that? No, it's okay. Okay, Crux it's Pills. Crux Pills. I got it. I got it wrong. So, so was Crux Pills the Tim Barrel? 
No, no, Crux, no? Uh, Crux Brewing. Oh, it's its own brewery. Okay. Crux Brewing, Crux Brewing is is rapidly becoming one of my favorites. Oh, let's put a link in the Twitch chat. Crux, Crux Brewery. The crux of it is uh, cruxfermentation.com. In Bend, Out of Bend Oregon. Oregon. Yeah. Oregon. Oregon. I say Oregon. Cruxfermentation.com. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, it's smelling it. I can, I can smell more of a German yeast. To it, but it's so clean. Boom. Tay said, "Boom," because he got it right. He's the pilsner. Absolutely. Tay, if you ever want to go out drinking, I don't have any drinking friends really in Jacksonville. My boyfriend doesn't really drink much alcohol or go out <laughs> anywhere. So, um, I'm gonna pop open my second one real quick. Go ahead. Uh, this is actually one I tried yesterday and found super fascinating. Mm -hmm. We wait all year for Fort George to do what they call their three-way. Oh. It's, it's a collaboration between three breweries. Oh, okay. And this time it's between Fort George, Great Notion, and I gotta look again. Uh, Ruben's Brews. Never heard of them. And I knew it wasn't this one because this one is actually <laughs> very bright and wow. very yeah, uh, very unfiltered. I've never seen that color in a beer. That's it's all very unfiltered. unfiltered. It it looks almost like, you know, like orange pulp, doesn't it? Yes. Or lemonade pulp, because it's almost a lemon color. Or mango pulp. It looks like mango pulp. Mango pulp. pulp, pulp, pulp. Mangled, mangled, mangled pulp. Mangled pulp. What does it taste like? That actually looks like the stuff you get like from the bright tube or something. It, it's it's absolutely fascinating because the flavor changes from one sip to another. Wow. Like right now, like right now, I'm getting like orange. Uh huh. I wait a little bit and drink it again. I might get pineapple, mango, coconut, and there's a little bit of hoppiness at the back of my tongue. Okay, but it's such an interesting beer, and it's mm -hmm. and it's not it's not got the typical texture of an IPA. Mm -hmm. It's thick. It's thick like like a pulpy orange juice almost. Yeah, that that's kind of like. thick. Yeah, viscous, like like you have actual bits in there. Are yes. there actual bits? It, yeah. It, almost, it, if there were actual bits in there, I would believe it. Well, if it's unfiltered, there probably are actual bits. It's, mm, it is super delicious. Wow. And tell me again what it is. It's called Three Way. <laughs> I didn't yeah. mean Yeah, they did they did that on purpose. I know they did. I'm trying so hard not to laugh. I'm just I'm Oh just and uh, today. Another interesting thing is that uh they're they're not calling this, you know, like the normal IPAs, like an English IPA or a Northwest IPA. They call it a Northeast IPA. Huh. Is that because are some of the breweries on the East Coast? I don't I I don't think so. I think the different flavors are maybe it's Northeast Oregon or maybe or maybe the hops are from the north and something else is from the east. Yeah, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to look it up. I mean, uh Seattle, Washington, Rubens is Seattle, Washington. Well, that's north of Oregon, right? I'm not good at geography. I'm, I'm actually asking that question. I'm pretty sure Washington oh, is up by Canada. <laughs> Washington's right under Canada, right? 
Washington is directly. <laughs> I know that because of Twin Peaks, because some of it is set in in Canada. Great Notion is actually in Alberta. Oh, oh, ah. oh no, sorry, sorry, Alberta Street, Portland, Oregon. There ah. we go. Portland, okay. I really, I have no idea why they called it a Northeast IPA. I'm gonna tweet at them. Ask them. And you tweeted them. them and asked them why they call it Northeast because we want to know. Because I'm not good at geography and I want to make sure I'm not confused. Yeah. And I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna feed the producer now. All right. And it's almost time for Tay to come on if yeah. Tay is ready. Let me ask Tay if he is ready. Okay, and um, this is it for our beer show, yeah. but if if you hang around for just a little bit, we'll be having a, um, a lovely animated discussion for episode 33. Yeah, and so, you stay on the same, stay on the same twitch.tv, you don't have to move, it's just, we're just going to be the moving stream, off the for a little bit. Will, the stream will restart. Yeah, yeah. So you may have to refresh your screen, but it's the same link. So... Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. This has been episode 32 with a couple of great beers uh, between a couple of great friends. And we will see you again shortly. <laughs>